Results of Pakistan's much-awaited general elections show candidates of former Prime Minister Imran Khan's Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf Party or PTI winning the largest number of seats in the National Assembly. This despite the charismatic leader being in jail, the party stripped of its electoral symbol and a months-long military-backed crackdown against top leadership and supporters. I would call it a vote uh, against every anti-PTI force. So I would say a vote opposed to, you know, PTI's witch hunt. Observers say the vote is a message for the powerful military that plays an outsized role in Pakistan's politics. The top brass is often called the establishment. The kind of vote the PTI, um, uh, PTI supported uh, candidate got uh, is a message to the establishment that their policies are not acceptable at the common person level. Not having a unified electoral symbol, PTI candidates were forced to run as independents. Party leaders worry winners could be convinced or coerced to join rival political parties. Now that can happen through uh, dishonest and corrupt practices by, you know, vote buying. And this can happen through arm twisting and coercion and threatening uh, individuals and their families. Rizvi says PTI's surprise success may not compel the military to let go of its hold on Pakistan's political landscape and let the party form a ruling coalition. I don't think at the moment uh, I find any chance of flexibility uh, and a sense of accommodation in the establishment towards the PTI. Election results were delayed for hours. The party alleges tallies were rigged to cheat it out of winning a clear majority. The Election Commission blamed the delay on internet issues. PTI released a victory speech by Khan generated through artificial intelligence. You laid the foundation for Hakiki Azadi, true freedom, with your votes. Three-time former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, seen as the military's favorite, also made a victory speech, claiming his party was the single most popular political entity. Observers worry Pakistan is in for a long period of political uncertainty. Sara Zaman, VOA News, Lahore, Pakistan.